Hey guys, give me a break, man, on the Give Me a Flake Man channel doing Japanese for Morons Lesson 35. Before we go on with today's lesson, I want to go back three days to a question by Polio Man Gamer who asks, is it correct to say Gokuro? Um, in the comment section, I said, I, don't th I think it's too casual, people don't really say that, but the very same day, I actually saw someone on TV say it, and I did ask around, and I was wrong. So people do actually say Gokuro sometimes. So if you, you know, the uh, remember this is... Oskari sama desu is formal or a little more polite, you know, same level people or people of higher levels. And that's very important in Japan, the, the level thing. And to someone who's delivering something or someone who's below you, you say Gokuro sam or Gokuro sama deshita. But sometimes you can actually say Gokuro, which I always, I didn't know that. Um, I guess because I don't, I, I'm always a little, just to be safe, I'm a little polite, a little more polite than I need to be. Which is something you might take in consideration, you know. Um, only use a super casual if you're really sure you can get away with it. You know, even though you are a foreigner, don't uh, don't abuse the fact you're a fo you're a foreigner by being rude, <laughs> just because people will forgive you. You know, it's more impressive when you actually um, speak correctly, <laughs> not just what you get away with. Clean Star has a question. Well, answer question. Clean Star has a question. Has your beard always been that gray? No, I was not born with a gray beard. <laughs> it gradually became gray over the years. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, someone wrote. Uh, let me see what the song is. Um, oh yeah, Hontani, 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 Gokuro San. It's a good song. So I guess yeah, if you listen to music, you'll pick up stuff like this too. So okay, let's go on to today's lesson. Now, uh, the last two days I've been talking about the word matsu, right, which is weight, and I taught you, taught you really. I left yesterday's lesson off. I ended yesterday's lesson with a very difficult expression. Omata seshite moshiwake naku zonjimasu, right? Very long, very long expression. Remember, that's very formal. Again, don't worry so much about actually learning that, but get get used to those uh, sounds. You know, it's very important for your ears to get used to those sounds. Moshiwakenai, moshiwakenaku, zonjimas, kind of expressions. Okay. Now, um, there are a couple more that I want you to know. I think you should know. And one of the most common expressions that you'll you'll hear here in Japan is taihen, taihen omatase shimashita. Now, taihen just means very. Like actually, taihen means tough. But um, used in this in this, um, in this set, it's like I I I really made you wait. You know, taihen omatase shimashita. Taihen omatase taihen omatase shimashita. I'm. It's kind of an apologetic. I'm sorry to. I'm really sorry to have made you wait so long. Although in the sentence you don't really see any um, I'm sorry expression. You just, you just see the expression taihen, which just means tough or hard or um, too bad, you know, sometimes. It depends on the situation. But anyway, that's a good one to know. Taihen omatase shimashita. Taihen omatase shimashita. And another very common, not as common, but also one you should know, is omatase shite sumimasen. Omatase shite sumimasen. Omatase shite sumimasen, which I don't think was in yesterday's lesson. So there's another one for you to know. Omatase shite sumimasen. And the last one for today is omachido sama, and sometimes Omachido sama deshita, which is a formal way to say sorry to have made you wait. Omachido sama, omachido sama deshita. Alrighty, so those are today's um, expressions. Good luck with this. Little by little, I hope you guys are taking notes, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.